I have my evaporating basin dish, my wire goes on top of the tripod and a Bunsen burner, heating this up so all of the liquid, all of the liquid solvent is going to turn into gas, it's going to evaporate, leaving me the soluble salt um, behind. That's evaporation. Then we've learned distillation. So at the back of distillation, I'm going to write all I know about it. So it separates a solvent from a solution. And we've got um, a round bottom flask, a rubber band that has a hole and a thermometer in it so that I can check what temperature is it. Then a um, condenser attached so that when my, let's say I have salt and water here now, when I heat up the water, water is going to turn into gas and there's nowhere to go because there's a rubber band. So it's going to go down the condenser. Now the condenser is filled with very cold water surrounding it. It doesn't touch the gas, but it's surrounding the tube of the gas. So this gas is going to condense, it's going to turn from uh, gas to liquid and I'm going to end up having my solvent here. So the difference of this technique and this technique is that here my water is escaping into the surroundings and I can't get it. Whereas here my water is escaping but not in the surroundings, is escaping into this delivery tube and down the condenser. So it has nowhere to go but the condenser and it's forced to condense. So I am collecting it and at the end I'm going to have the salt here and the water here. So your soluble solid and your solvent all um, collected. That's that. Then we've done that. And then distillation, we've said that every pure substance has its own particular melting and boiling point. For example, water has zero melting point and boiling point of 100. So we said that if we had ethanol and water, ethanol is around, is, is way um, less, it's around 78 if I'm not mistaken. So its boiling point is way uh, lower than water. Water is 100. So at 78, you're going to see that uh, you're going to have um, your uh, liquid uh, collected here. And you know that this liquid cannot be water because the temperature hasn't got to 100 degrees Celsius yet. And we call this fractional distillation. That's the basis of what he's working on. And the last technique we've learned was chromatography. And this technique is to separate dissolved substances from each other. So all you need to do is have your chromatography paper, draw a pencil line and have your ink samples there. And the pencil line needs to be 2 cm, 2 centimeters from the bottom of the page. This is because when I then add it into a beaker, I forgot to write a beaker here, when I add it into a beaker and I add my solvent, which could be either water or ethanol, the solvent mustn't touch the um, pencil line. Otherwise, I'm going to ruin my chromatography practical. And the method here. So pencil line drawn, 2 cm cube from 2 cms from the bottom of the chromatography paper, spots of ink placed on the line, dip the chromatography paper in a solvent below uh, the pencil line. This could be water or ethanol. Wait for the solvent to travel up the chromatography paper. And as the solvent travels up, all of the substances that dissolve in the uh, solvent are also going to go up. And subs, some colors have different speeds. They travel up faster if they're more soluble in water. If they're less soluble in water or ethanol, they're going to be uh, traveling slower. So you can tell which one's more soluble. The blue dots are more soluble because they traveled up faster with the solvent. Whereas the brown dots are further down, so they are less soluble in water considering we have water here. And then also, we can see that A and B have a similar substance in them. They have the blue one. And A and C have the brown one. And B and C have the purple one. 
This is because they are on the same exactly line. So this means they are the same substances. And if one uh, dot, so sample, has just one dot, that means it's a pure mixture. If it has many dots, it, mean, it means, sorry, it's a pure substance. If it has many dots, it means that it's a mixture. So when it's just one dot, pure substance, when it has many dots, it's a mixture. Again, when I see just one dot, it means I have a pure substance. When I see many dots created or on one sample, that means that this is a mixture of two substances. That was it for today. And then you can play. You can play around and say, uh, what is distillation? I think it's that, that, that. Then you check. And that's that. Hope you enjoy your revision. Good luck with your test.